your people have my permission to go. Leave me! Alright, Shalawan, Shalawan. This is um, Tata Doc from New GMS Los Angeles Cat. I'm just gonna come uh, coming back with another video through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakakadash. I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles and, elders, apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace is out for the whole like Akim that's pushing his word throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing diligently. Yeah, brothers, yeah. So, you know, I just wanna do a little post. Passover video and you know it was a beautiful service with the brothers you know it was, it was a, a very much of a solemn assembly due to seriousness and hey brothers you gotta look it up to a way like um you know there's a new year for us right so as you can see um it's a way of leveling up man and you know and praying to Yahweh Yashad to level you up level you up it's all about leveling you up and really teaching this word of prophecy to our people, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all right, which our power is Yahweh, who you originally called God, and his son, Yahweh Shai, which you originally called Jesus Christ, okay? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Bible. So the clip I showed you earlier was from the movie Prince of Egypt, you know, um, Netflix took it down for some reason. Well, we all know and then know why. So, um... I just want you to, I just wanted to capture the somberness of that clip because that's why people was going through, you know, it was, it was not a time of celebration. It was not a time of award show. It was not a time of the fancy garments. Our people were in slavery. Okay. So we hear, we know what time it is. Okay. All right. So let's get with the scripture. All right. Let me get with, um, let's get, uh, Hmm. Let me get Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 4. Let me get it real quick. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 7 verse 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Now if you're looking at the time we're in, we're in a time of hate and war and sorrow, okay? All right? We're in that time, right? Because we're in, we're in slavery. We're in captivity here in America, man. And through the four corners of the earth from the so-called white man and the other nations, all right? They rule in this earth, all right? So are you going to tell me we're in a state of gladness and joyfulness? Hell no, we're not, man. Okay? The heart of the wise, this talking about the elect, Lord willing, where those men is in the house of mourning, all right? But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Now, when you go to the definition of mirth, right? Let me get you the definition of mirth, all right? It means gladness or gaiety as shown by a company with laughter. So when you see gladness and gaiety coming with laughter, that's, a, that's like celebration, okay? We're not in a time of celebration, okay? All right, we're observing the Passover. Why? Because the bitterness and and the, and, and the slavery what our people went through, man. All right, the pain. All right, what do you think you take those bitter herbs for? What? A reminder of the pain. Okay. So the well, the people of Murph is the two thirds that you see out here on this earth. It's so called Negro, Latino, Native American. Those are two thirds of our people. All right, including of the circumcised. Okay. Who's the circumcised? The one that called themselves Israelites. All right. 
they in the house of mirth right now. They in the house of, of like festivity, okay? Award shows, the, the fanciest garments. We're not in the time for that, man, okay? We in a time right now in Babylon of mourning, signing, crying, okay? That's where we at right now. Take a look at the news right now, man. Didn't Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Isai say he going to plague Egypt as the, the uh, as before, as Egypt as before? He's doing that again with these pestilences and these diseases, right? You seen the power of Yahweh Bashem Isai right in front of your face through the unicorn. He's not playing around. He's coming. Hey, why do people forget about Jacob's trouble? That's coming. That's prophecy, man. Okay? That's prophecy. All right? Let's um let's get the next scripture. Um let's get let's go back. Let's go back because because obviously you don't know what time it is, man. And, and Apostle Gabar did a great video about that. Because our people are gearing up, you know, the circumcised our people are gearing up for festivities, laughter, drinking, you know, gladness. It's okay to see other brothers, man. Don't get me wrong. Alright? It's okay to it's gladness to see other brothers. And you know, and 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 be, being together, but you you have to understand by one accord. You know why we observing the Passover for why? Because the bitterness our people went through, and the slavery, the pain, and the tears, man. We have to remember that, man. And guess what? We're going through that right now, right now. Okay, and this is a reminder. Okay, all right. So let me get um. Let me get Ecclesiastes the third chapter, okay? The third chapter, real quick. This is Ecclesiastes three verse eight. Um, let me um. Let's start. Let's start um. Let's start at verse one. Ecclesiastes three three verse one. To everything there's a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. All right. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant. You know we can't plant here in America, man. You know we cannot make it here in America, man. What did it say in Micah 2 and 10? All right? Okay, the only thing we could do is sustain ourselves to the to the best of our ability and, and patiently wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and preach this word simply, okay? And a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build up. We're right now, we're in a time of building up. And what's building up? What's building up? The house of David is building up. Okay? The house of David is building up right now. As, as you can see, it's happening. All right? A time to weep. Right now, we're in a time of weeping. Why? Because we're, we're under captivity, under the so-called white man. We've seen all these abominations 24-7, man. Look at our people right now, man. You got Dwayne Wade trying to chop his son's rod off, man. Okay? Our people are a bunch of faggots. Our women being a bunch of lesbians. You know, it's just nothing but filth over here in America, man. And throughout the four corners of earth, all right? A time to laugh. A time to mourn. Right now, we're in a state of mourning. Okay? Look at our people right now. You think... You think it's the time to celebrate? Our people don't even know who the fuck they are, man. Mind my French. All right? Are people killing each other, stealing from one another, making rap music against one another? Are people making rap videos who call themselves Israel making rap videos? Man, I don't, I don't see nothing serious what y'all doing, man. Okay? Simply just preach the word. Preach the gospel, man. Preach the good news to our people, man. To the elect. Lord willing, were those men. A time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to gather stones together. Key thing, right? Ain't we lively stones? Ain't don't we represent each stone? The spiritual temple is being built right now. All right, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to get, a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Aren't we speaking right now? The word of prophecy? 
we cannot be silenced, man, by you celebrating and not doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You, you, you keeping silence, man. You putting blood in your hands, man. It's a time to speak right now. Prophecy. Okay? A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Right now, we are at the time of hate and a time of war. We're not in the time of love right now. The only, the only thing love we have is the brethren, the brothers, okay? The ones that do the will of Yahweh Bashem that's my family, that's the one who, that's the love. But right now, we're in a time of hate and a time of war, and that's happening right now. Because the nations and the so-called white man, the Edomites, hate us, man. And they're trying to get rid of us. They're making war with us, man. Okay, with this coronavirus and other pestilence that's out there, man. Because coronavirus, that's just one that's just one little plague. There's going to be many more of us right after that on steroids, okay? All right? All right, so let's get with the next scripture because uh, people don't know the time they're in. But, the, but us of um, Great Millstone, the brothers who teach in the same doctrine, all right? They know what time it is, man. That's why we, we got to take it in another level. Level up, brothers. Level up. Level up. All right? We know... We know we know uh, the year of prophecy, man, and it is happening. Okay, and it's only, and it's only March, man. <laughs> okay, so let's get the next scripture. This is um Sirach. All right. No, no, no. This is Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou time diligently in itself." We have to measure the time diligently, man. We gotta be vigilant in this, man. How we measure that time diligently? By watching the news, what's going on, reading reports, and guess what? Being that watchman on that watchtower. Warning our people, man. All right? That the sword is coming your way. Who's the sword? The so-called white man, the Edomites, Esau, the Idumians. Okay? The Caucasian race, man. That's the most high sword. And guess what? It's going to come on you people, man. All right? And when thou hast seen part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, yeah. The most I told us about these prophecies, man. And guess what? We're teach we're teaching it. We're prophet we're prophesying out there, man. Everything what the Lord said in this in the scriptures, we're we're teaching it right now and breaking it down and to warn our people. This is a serious matter, man. Okay? It's not a time to be it's not a time to be a lover of your goddamn self, man. To be seen of men. We're going to get that. Okay. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And he's visiting right now. Look what's going on in Africa with the, with the locusts. Huh? Look what's going on with this plague with the, with the, with the virus. The coronavirus. Alright. There's many more, man. Are, are the, 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 each day by day, this world, man, this earth is in state of mourning. It's getting worse and worse every day, man. Take a look around you. Examine everything. Be circumspect. Okay? Therefore, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what's going on. You see uproars of the people. Over there, down in South and Central America, down in Europe. It's going to happen here in Americas, man. Uproars of the people. There's only a little bit of it, but it's going to be more of it, man. Okay? We're in that time of war and hate right now. This is why everything is out of order right now, man. So be, you got to be circumspect, man. What's going around you. And then you seek the time. Measure the time, man. And you know what time we're in. Okay? Let's get with the next scripture. Um, let me get Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29, verse 2. All right. Let's get that real quick. Proverbs 29, verse 2. It's Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Now, are the righteous on authority right now? 
Hell no, the people is in mourning right now. It's nothing but confusion all over the earth, man. Okay? We're not in a time of rejoicing right now, man. We're, <laughs> we're in slavery here, man. Okay? Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. They don't, they don't it say in Job, the ninth chapter? It says that the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. It says, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, man. Okay? And, and right now, our, the people is mourning throughout the nation. And guess what, people? The You Israelites, you call yourself Israel out there. Remember, there's Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth, right? In them, in them third world countries, suffering right now. Suffering. They lamenting right now, man. They in poverty. They in starvation. Ultimately is the is the Lord's um is the Lord's judgment. But you think we in a time of, of, of celebrating? Hell no, we're not, man. Right now we're in a time right now, this is our new year, it's time to level up. Level up, man. Alright? They said the heart of the wise is 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 in a feast of mourning, man. We're in a feast of, comp we're, we're sighing and crying, complaining to the Lord, man, to destroy this place. That's where my mind is, right? That's where my mind is at right now. I want this, I want the Lord, Yahweh Bashem to destroy this place, man. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let's read it again. Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. In the earth is state of mourning, man. You you go tell me the earth is in righteousness? Hell no, it's not, man. Anybody could be bought for with the right price, man. Except for the except for those seven thousand men reserved. Except for the elect. The elect is gonna be in the house of mourning right now. Okay. And right now, they're in their minds to level up, man. To put more hell on this devil, man. The so-called white man. Through what? By teaching his word. Plain and simple. Let's get with the next scripture. Let me get Psalms. Psalm 17, verse 13. Psalm 17, verse 13. Let me get that. Okay. All right, bear with me, bear with me. All right. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And that's in our mind. That's in our spirits right now, man. For we could be lifted up out of here, man, from the wicked, man. Lord willing, were those men. Okay? Lord willing, were those men. That's in our spirit right now, man. We want, we want the wicked to be cast down quickly, man. We want the Lord to disappoint him. He's doing it right now. Look what's going on with the with the um with the stock market. It's it's going down. They crashing this dollar on purpose, man. What for what? To instill that microchip, man. The RFID chip, man. Okay, which is the mark of the beast. Which is, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, according to the Bible. All right. Okay, let's get the last scripture because Jake. Jake seen um forget this scripture right here. Let me get it real quick. Cause since you don't want to be celebrating, there's nothing to celebrate right now, man. It's to be in mourning and time to level up, man. Okay? Alright, that's where we that's where we gotta be at. Alright. I see uh, you know, I see some dudes that were teaching his word at you know, I see them at work and everything. And now they all lined up, no more bared because because the gift destroyed their heart. He had a he had a promotion, and now he not he not even really out there teaching his word. He half assed it, man. It's whatever. But you know, I say shalom to him. That's it. You know, I keep it short, and I'm and I bounce. Okay. So let me get Jeremiah thirty verse four. Jeremiah thirty verse four. Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Let me get it. Uh, let me get it. Have patience with me. Have patience with me, man. 
Yeah, I'm excited doing this work, man. That's just what it is. All right. Uh, oops. My bad, my bad. All right, bear with me. Yeah, because our people seem to forget about Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? They really seem to forget about that. I wonder why. Because they so caught up with themselves. This is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Yeah, I knew I was right. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. At last, for that day is great. So that none is like it, it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out, out of it, man. Who's the one that's going to be saved out of it? The elect, all right? But you see this key word, so that none is like it as if in the time of Jacob's, so none is like it, meaning this, we're going to experience something that we've never seen before, man. And Lord willing, will those men that be shielded from that trouble, man. You know, and those men that shoot it from the trouble, the ones that observing the righteous way, how to um, observe the Passover to commemorate, to to um, remember the day of our, of our people's pain, man. What our people was going through in the time of Egypt and what our people's going through now, right now in this time of Egypt. Nothing but suffering, man. All right. So right now we're in the house of mourning. And in the time of leveling up, man. You know, that's just what it is, man. All right. So, you know, I just want to do a quick lesson on that. All right. Um, your brothers, hey, stay, you know, stay up, man. Stay, stay in the faith. All right. You know, um, ask the Lord, Yahweh Bashmashah, to increase your faith, to level up more. Ask for more wisdom. Trust me, he will do that with, with fervent prayer. All right. So, hey, brothers, man, it's, that time is coming. All right. That time is coming. So, I, you know, I just want to do a little video on that and just show you to severely how our, our people's attitude during that time with the blood on the door. Lord willing, Lord willing, this trouble will pass over us, man. So with that, I just want to give you all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakak, Adash. Double honor to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and salutation for the whole like Akim that's pushing his word. Till then, Shalom.